Hi guys, this is Alistair De Silva again from Trias Academy and uh, we are going to see uh, uh, an example to do with timers this time. Um, so we are in factory IO again and uh, as we can see there is a big tank in front of us right and uh, in this tank we actually can see that there is a valve on top of here right. So we have something called as a fill valve on top and uh, we have something called as a discharge valve over here right. So let's just see what happens if we just turn these on forcefully, right? So if we turn on the fill valve, we will see that water starts filling actually in this tank, right? And uh, if we actually turn on this discharge valve, we'll see that water actually starts draining from this tank, right? So we see a little indicator over here. This doesn't actually get connected to our PLC, it's just for indication. And uh, if we actually look at the control panel, uh, we will see that there are three elements here, right? And uh, if you notice, there is actually two names here, right? Filling and fill. So this seems a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit uh, confusing. But if you actually hover over here, you will see that this filling is actually an output, okay? So what does this output actually do? So if we actually look to see what it does, it actually is just an indicator for the button, right? So it's just going to indicate when we turn on this and then we have a fill input. We have a discharge and we have a discharge input as well. And if we notice this discharge input is an NC push button. Can you see the difference? This is an NO push button. This is an NC push button. We also have a timer over here. Now we are not going to use this in our application, but we can actually display the time over here if required. Okay. So uh, how do we actually program this application? So this, this application is very simple. Uh, we will need to actually fill to a particular level, right? And uh, we are going to be using timers in this particular example, right? So uh, this is a slightly longer logic than the previous two examples which we have seen. And uh, definitely we are going to, write, we are going to be writing a, a little bit more code than usual. Now, before we start, we have to know how many elements we are actually programming. So if we actually see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six elements here. And uh, I have actually assigned these as follows. So I have my fill input, right, which is my push button, right, this green color push button over here. That is on my M0. My discharge red color push button is on my M1. And if you remember, this was an NC push button. Now we have Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3 and this is going to be my fill valve. This is going to be my actual valve at the top here. Then we have filling which is my indicator which is this green indicator here. Then we have the discharge valve and we have discharging, right? So we are actually going to program this now, right? We are going to program this and uh, let's just open my editor on the right side. So in my PLC editor, first of all, we have this push button which is an M0. So I'm going to introduce a push button here. Okay, so we'll name this as my fill, right? This is my fill button. And uh, using my fill button, I actually have to, uh, you know, uh, start this fill valve, right? I need to start this fill valve and I also need to turn on this filling indicator here, right? this filling indicator. So if you actually look at the input output list, we'll see that the fill valve and the filling is Y0 and Y1, right? So I'm going to set my Y0 and I'm also going to set my Y1, right? So I've set both these outputs and I'm going to go to the next line now. Now I have to start a timer, right? I need to start a timer and uh, let's assume that we are going to fill this tank for around 20 seconds, right? So uh, to, to start a timer, I actually need a contact over here. So I'm going to use this Y0, which I've turned on, right? So that I can engage the timer. So this, this is going to be on, right? We know because it's going to set over here uh, once we press this fill button. And when this is on, this is actually going to start the timer, right? So we are going to start a timer of 20 seconds. Now, why is this 20 seconds in Delta? This T0 has a time base of 100 milliseconds. So 200 into 100 milliseconds is 20,000 milliseconds. And uh, that is equal to 1000 milliseconds, right? So once this timer is done, right? Once this timer is done, we need to actually reset these uh, outputs over here, right? So let's just create an, uh, another line over here. 
and uh, we know the timer is done when this T0 is actually going to turn on, right? And uh, we can reset both these outputs over here, right? So I'm resetting both these outputs. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to uh, test this logic, right? So that we know that it's working and then we'll go for the discharge logic. So I'm going to download this to the PLC right now and it is downloading. Okay, and uh, if I actually go now to my control panel and I press this button right here, it should start, right? So starting this, and we can see that the fill valve has started and it has started to fill and we can see that our timer is running as well, right? So our timer is going to run up to 20 seconds, right? So we're just gonna wait for it to finish. And as soon as this timer is finished, it should reset both these outputs here. Okay, so it is done. Uh, I just noticed that these naming is wrong, right? This is from the previous example, obviously. So I'm going to change this to uh, fill valve and uh, I'm going to change this to filling LED indicator, okay? So I'm just gonna name it as filling LED indicator and the fill valve. Uh, sorry about that, that was a mistake on my end. So uh, now that we are done with this, right, we now need to go for the discharge logic, right? So uh, the discharge logic is actually going to be very similar to the above logic, right? It's actually just a copy paste of the above logic. And the only difference is that the discharge button is actually just NC, right? So uh, we are going to create an NC. Now, why is this NC, right? That is the, that is the important question. So I'm going to name this as discharge. Now, since this is an NC push button, if this was NC, what would happen is that this would get fired immediately without me pressing it, right? So uh, that's a problem for me. I need I need this button to be NO, right? So this is why I have changed it to an inverted contact here. I want this to behave like an NO push button. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to set Y2, and I'm going to set Y3 as well. Right, and uh, this is going to be my discharge valve. This is going to be my discharge valve, and this is going to be my discharging LED indicator. Right, so we have our discharge logic over here now. Just as above, we need to actually uh, fire a timer, right? So uh, we are going to use the Y3 this time or the Y2, whichever. So let's use Y2 and uh, we're going to run a timer. Now remember, I cannot use this T0 again, right? It's already been used. So I'm going to write a timer of T1. And uh, you will see that although I am discharging for 20 seconds, this is probably not going to be enough, right? It's probably not going to be enough. Uh, there's still going to be a little bit water remaining, but we'll see that later. And uh, once we are done with this, once the timer has reached, we'll actually have to reset both these, uh, this logic over here. So I'm going to just use a shortcut. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it over here. And uh, I'm just going to change this to reset. Right. And I'm going to change this to T1. And I'm going to change this to a normal contact, right? So us engineers love to copy paste. And, you know, I guess uh, this is an easier way to do it, right? So you can copy paste uh, rungs. You can copy paste logic whenever you need to. Okay, so we have this done here. Let us just download this to the PLC. And uh, we're going to see how this is going to run. Now, if you notice, we already have some water here. So I'm just going to go ahead and discharge now. I'm going to click this discharge. And we can see that the discharge logic is now running, right? So the discharge logic is actually going to run for a whole 20 seconds. So let's just look at the water level now. Seems to be going down. Yeah, and like I said, it seems that the discharge valve does not have the same capacity as the uh, filling valve, right? So we still have a little bit water here. But that's not a problem. We can go ahead and again click the discharge. And this is going to drain actually all the water. Yeah, and 
has done. Now, obviously, uh, if we know that the discharge uh, requires more time, we will have to increase this timing as well, right? But this is, this is just to give you an idea of the logic you can use to, you know, run a basic, uh, you know, filling example right here. I hope you enjoyed learning about this. Uh